back to Contractor Corner. I'm Gary Parker. We're in the WattsWorks Learning Center. I'm with Big Jim Earhart today. Jim is our product specialist for all hydronics. We're going to learn about the Adraset Jim. What am I looking at? How's it going to benefit a contractor? And ultimately, what's, what's the usefulness of these things? Gary, the uh, Idraset is basically a static uh, balancing valve with a built-in flow measurement mechanism. Mm -hmm. They are calibrated from the factory to be plus or minus 10% accuracy. No external instrument or calculations are required like with a standard circuit setter. You can read the flow directly off the dial and know that that flow measurement is with plus or minus 10% of the actual flow through that circuit. And the gauge is right here, it's already built into the valve. Right there. Okay, so hydronic systems can be very daunting, right? They, they require a lot of tinkering, a lot of servicing on them. The Idraset, we've made it a little bit easier for the contractors to balance the system. Yes. Walk me through it. So the Idraset makes the process uh, very simple. The process that we'll demonstrate here uh, involves what we call a reference Idraset, which is on the circuit furthest away from the pump. That will be the highest pressure drop circuit. And then we also have what's called a compensation valve, which will be installed on the return main back to the heating source or to the chiller. Uh, the process starts with the reference valve. In this case, we're going to set each valve to 1.25 gallons per minute. We're going to kind of say that is the design flow rate supplied to us by the design engineer. That number could be anything. We're just going to use 1.25 here for the demonstration and set all three valves to 1.25. So we're arbitrarily chasing 1.25 because that's the set pressure that the designer requires. Correct. And we're going to exert some pressure on it with these circuit setters. This, but these could represent anything, a VAV box, a radiant system, anything that would put more pressure on the system. That's right. And it, cause it to go out of balance. That's right. Right okay. now we have three different flow rates and we're going to balance them all so that they're all at 1.25. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with our reference uh, hydro set, which is the furthest circuit away. And by turning the outer knob, we're we're going to slowly close the valve until we see our 1.25 gallon reading. Mm -hmm. and so it's coming down. It's coming down. We're just going to keep turning it until we're just about there. And there we are. So now this circuit is set to 1.25 gallons per minute. Now typically what happens when we go to the other circuits as we choke those down, we're going to see the flow go up. It's redirecting that pressure. Right. We're right. taking that pressure, redirecting it. So we're going to go to the next circuit as we work our way toward the pump, mm -hmm. and we're going to pull this one back to 1.25. And this could this could be two or three floors away or something. Absolutely. Right? Okay. Yeah, an entirely different part of the system. Mm -hmm. And as we do that, we're going to see the flow start to creep up on our, on our reference valve. Yeah. And instead of going back and forth, to try to balance them, we're simply going to go to our compensation valve, and we're going to close our compensation valve to bring our reference valve back to 1.25, and there we are. So that's a great point you just made. So usually, in a regular, when you're trying to balance balance this valve regularly, you're chasing it and tinkering with right. it manually. Going back and forth, back and forth. You could have a couple of service contractors on the job site with, with phones or walkie-talkies or whatever, and they could say, I'm, I'm almost there, I'm at 1.25, and once you reach that, then you're good to go. Exactly. Right, you exactly. don't have to go back and forth and manually keep tinkering. That is the key, okay. and that has always been the, the problem with a, with a regular circuit setter and, and trying to go back and forth between each valve as you readjust. You could spend all day doing that if you're, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll balance the third circuit here, we'll do the same thing. Yep. Uh, we'll bring this one down to 1.25. We can see the, the flow jump way up as we as mm -hmm. we uh, restricted the flow to the other uh, to the other valves, to the other circuits, and once again we get close to where we need to be. We see our reference valve uh, uh, creeping up, and once again we go to our compensation valve, and we'll slowly close that and bring our rate down to 1.25. And now we will see our three valves are. Uh, balance to each other plus or minus 10 percent so they are now all in balance so the system's completely balanced at this point correct so I notice you have a pump up here uh, demonstration as well what happens when we add in a pump in the, uh, the high speed and low speed of that so um, if we're using an ECM pump mm -hmm. which responds to system load by ramping up and down uh, and if we have a control valve that closes on one of these circuits for example, I'm going to close this valve here, and this is going to simulate a control valve shutting off the heat sure. for that circuit, and we'll notice that our, that our flow rate jumped up, because now we're forcing all that flow through there. So the ECM pump is going to detect that change in load, and what it will do is it will reduce its speed, and we'll see that as we reduce its speed, our valves remain in balance to each other. Even if we turn this pump down all the way to the lowest speed, we will see that these valves remain in balance to one another. So regardless of the pump speed, our valves will all remain in balance 
uh, as that pump ramps up, that ramps up and down. So the hydroset's doing what it's supposed to do, no matter what speed the, the pump's at. It's learning as it as the pressure goes up and down. Yeah, the ECM pump is responding to load, and the and the hydroset valve is keeping all the circuits in balance to one another. So we learned a lot about the hydroset today. I imagine we have different varieties of these. So talk to me about size, and then maybe potentially a lead-free offering. Sure. Uh, the current alloy version, standard alloy version for hydronic systems, is orbited in half inch through two inch female MPT sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, the upcoming lead free version, which will be introduced in Q1 of 2022, will be available on half, three quarter, and one inch, and that will be perfect for balancing recirculation lines, for example, with the IntelliStation system. Okay, so our power's brand IntelliStation that can work exactly. in concert with that. And this will, in the lead-free version, will be orphaned as an accessory to that product. And so it sounds like we can we can service a pretty big building here with yes. the either set. Yes. All the way up to eight inch maybe flange. Correct, so for example, our um, the current uh, alloy, standard alloy version goes up to two inch, so we can handle up to two inch circuits. Mm -hmm. And our CSM 681 uh, uh, valve goes up to eight inch flange, so we can go up to eight inch on the uh, compensation valve on the system. So we can handle some pretty large systems with this valve and using this balancing technique. But it won't balance my checkbook. It won't balance your checkbook. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you on Contractor Corner next time. Thanks, Jim. My pleasure.